How can you manifest a better life? Hello and welcome to another edition of Shine 365, where our job is to help you live a better life. And we'll be coming at you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast. We look forward to seeing you there. Today's topic is how to stay positive and manifest a better life. The article comes from King of the Chill. What we want to do here is ignore the toxicity and become the positive person you've always wanted to be. We all know that life is tough. There's no getting around that. But that doesn't mean you have to succumb to the negativity the world will inevitably throw at you because it's going to happen. You know there's going to be negative people. We have to face it head on. Here are some things that you can do to get yourself out of that rut and learn to become a more positive person and a manifester of a better life. Tip number one, and this is an easy one, get up and do something. Let's get the annoying one out of the way first. It's just hard for a lot of us to motivate ourselves to exercise and be active. There's a huge misconception of what it means to be active. You don't need to force yourself to get up in the morning really early, wake up at 4 a.m., and go to the gym multiple times a week. You don't need to get up and go for a run before the sun comes up. Being active can mean doing something as simple as getting up and walking around your block, getting up and doing some household chores, or just walking outside or around the mall. Make it fun for yourself and you won't even realize you're doing it. Now, I have several options. I could go for a walk, I could go for a bike ride, I could go to the ocean, since I'm on an island surrounded by the ocean, I can go swimming. But you have options wherever you are. Maybe there's a wooded area near your house. You can go for a walk in the park, go for a bike ride, go for a jog, go for a leisurely jog. You don't have to do it at 4 a.m. in the morning. You can do it at 7.30 in the morning or 8 o'clock in the morning or 5 or 6 o'clock at night. Okay. Let's go to number two, visualize and manifest. Now, this does sound new agey. Visualizing what you want out of life. It can actually make a huge difference, though. Here's the thing. There's a difference between worrying about the future and looking forward to the future. We can't predict what will happen, but we can hope for the best instead of hoping for the worst. Why be negative when you can be positive? Visualize your goals, your ideal life that's realistic in scope, and convince yourself that you already have it. Think of it not as a matter of if, but when. And that's the trick. But of course, the biggest thing is you have to have goals in order to be able to visualize your goals. Brainstorm, come up with some goals, and then break down to your goals into smaller pieces so that you may not be able to achieve that huge goal all at once, but if you break it down into little pieces, little chunks that you can hit at day by day, week by week, you can eventually achieve that goal. I've been working on a book for a number of years, but I broke down that book with its hundreds of pages into chapters, and each chapter, one page becomes two, ten pages becomes a chapter, and ten chapters becomes a book over time. It doesn't happen right away. People create a vision board to help keep them visualizing short and long-term goals. Others wake up every morning and make it a point to acknowledge what they want to accomplish that day, week, or year. And don't think of it as magic, but more of a means to keep you focused. You need to have a goal. You need to write it down so you can see it, so that you can keep focus on it. Now, this one's next one's a little simpler. Find a hobby you really enjoy a hobby you enjoy we all have hobbies we all have things we like that we're not doing for a job we may not be earning any money we're just doing it because it's fun one of my hobbies is to go out and fly a drone a hobby is important and finding a hobby can be simple a hobby can be just taking care of plants 
Just make sure your hobby never becomes a chore and it never causes you stress. Now this is a huge thing. If your hobby causes you stress, it's not a hobby. It's not relaxing. It's more of a job. It's a job you created. You're probably not making any money doing it. You're just adding stress to your life. Stop doing it. Let's go to the next one here. Let go of what you can't change. Letting go. As I mentioned in the beginning, life is tough. Sometimes it's unfair. Sometimes it's cruel. The best thing we can do for ourselves is just roll with the punches. Accept that most things won't always go our way, but don't let that stop you. Change course when you need to. Adjust your sails and keep moving. Now, my wife is really good at this. She comes from the country of Bulgaria, and it's been drilled into her to adapt. If something happens, adapt to it. Move to the next thing. If you're going one direction and you can't go that direction anymore, veer to the right and then go to the left. And eventually you'll get there. Sometimes you have to adapt in progress. Here's a huge one. Do not compare your life to others because each of us is different. How can we compare our life to another? Do not compare yourself to other people. Stop comparing where you are in life and where your friends, family, or even strangers are in life. Everyone lives a different life with different circumstances. I don't care if you go on their Instagram page, their Facebook page, their web page, and you see them doing a certain thing. Don't compare your life to them because we're all different. We all do things differently. We have different circumstances, physically, mentally, monetarily. We can't compare ourselves to other people. We have to do what's best for us within our abilities. And that doesn't mean we shouldn't try hard to do things. It just means that we are a unique individual. Let's face it. Some people have an easier life on the surface and that's okay, but be happy for them. Don't get yourself down on your own situation just because their situation seems so great. Maybe it's not as great as it seems. Maybe behind that gated community in that mansion, there's a person who isn't so happy. You don't know if their wealth has made them happy. Probably not because we know that wealth, true wealth comes through relationships, not money. Practice gratitude. Be mindful of what you do have, the relationships you do have, the things you do have, and wake up every day thankful. Thankful for the little things in life. The author says, I like to begin and end my days being grateful that I have my bills paid, a car with a full tank of gas, even a car, let's say, food in the fridge, and people I can share it with. That's a huge thing, people that you can share it with. That's huge. If you have someone you can share something with, that's special, that's important. There was a time when I would stay up at night wondering if I'd ever be able to afford to live on my own, have a career, or be successful. So it's important to me that I acknowledge how grateful I really am to be where I'm at because I know how it feels to be uncertain. You know, sometimes I pinch myself. I, I really do. I say, wow, my wife and I are able to support ourselves. I have a home office that I'm in right now. I have a video camera set up that I'm using to do these podcasts. This is a true blessing, all these things, and I can't take it for granted. Another thing I like to do, and this ties in with manifestation, is to be thankful for what's to come. The author says, I go to bed every night excited for where life is going to take me in the future. It's not a matter of if or how I'm going to get there, but when. We don't always know if or how, but we know eventually it will happen and that gives us hope and let's really stop taking everything so personally look sometimes life sucks but we all have opportunities in this country and we can use those opportunities and doors could open in unexpected places i hope this podcast gave you some better ideas to stay positive and manifest a better life. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Shine 365.